Hi, I'm Katie Ziskind. And I'm Shelby Davis. <laughs> and we're here at Wisdom Within Counseling in Niantic, Connecticut. You can learn more about working with our team at wisdomwithinct.com. This video is all about distant fighting couples. So you'll learn three signs that you might benefit from counseling, specifically for your relationship. And you'll also learn three tips in this video for how to get closer and be more bonded with your partner. So what is a sign that a couple might benefit from counseling? Yeah, so one of the things we wanna look for is that you're missing the friendship in your relationship, right? A lot of people notice there's that friend kind of connection with yeah. your partner, that basis of um, intimacy, connection, security. security. Those things are gonna kind of start to maybe fizzle out, right? I feel like the base of your relationship maybe just isn't there anymore. That's a great time to come into therapy. We can help you connect with your partner again um, kind of rediscover who each other is you know who we are and what we want out of life and really build that um, that intimacy again yes and friendship is that foundation and sometimes it you know kind of feels weaker and we can help give you some tools and make couples counseling that scheduled time for your friendship I love that you know, so tip number two is um, having lost passion or playfulness. So maybe you're stuck in your work brain, you're really serious, you feel a sense of tension or anxiety. And so couple therapy can be that place where you can rebuild playfulness. You can learn to laugh again. You can start to talk about when your relationship felt really passionate and desirable and when you felt excited and when you felt really supported and then what changed and what happened. So, um, and now, um, what's the third sign uh, someone in a relationship should look for if they're struggling? Yeah, so one of the last things you want to look for is a lack of appreciation of your partner, right? So this can be a couple of things. Maybe there's nothing. Maybe there's no thank you. There's no, hey, I really appreciate that you did this. Or we could just say, oh, thanks and move along, right? Sometimes we need that detail to say, hey, I really, I noticed that you did this and I really appreciate that you did that because it helped me or it made me feel one way or the other, right? Really getting into the detail. If that's not there, then we want to give you some skills to be able to notice and appreciate one another. We're also thinking about in these cases, maybe you are the partner who is really thankful and really appreciative and your partner's not able to receive that. Sometimes that's because we're super busy or it can be really uncomfortable to accept appreciation and thanks. So when you come into therapy, we can practice that skill of giving and receiving appreciation and help you guys be more on the same page, be appreciative of each other, and be be fond of one another again. <laughs> mm, I love that. Yeah, and that's where a lot of a lot of times couples just need a little bit of guidance, a little bit of help, you know, professional help mm -hmm. getting there. Um, so now we have tips for closeness. So if you're struggling, you're fighting, you're kind of feeling distant, lonely, these tips can help you have a better marriage um, before you get started in couples counseling. So the first tip is to be focused on setting aside time for each other. Just like you set aside time to go to the gym or set aside time to cook dinner we have to set aside time for relationships so just like you might have one-on-one -on -one time with your child after school it's very important to set aside date nights or um, it doesn't even have to be out of the house you can spend 10 minutes sitting on your bed holding hands talking about your day uh, but that time together is going to help each of you feel valid important and um, really start to prioritize your marriage again yeah. Second thing that we're, uh, second tip for you guys is to be physically connected, physically intimate with one another. It's so important in a relationship that we have that physical connection. So we're talking about holding hands, right? Um, maybe it's giving your partner a, a foot rub or a foot yes. massage, right? Those things can be really helpful. Also from the Gottman Method, which is one of the um, approaches that we use here at Wisdom Within Counseling, we're talking about the six second kiss. So making sure that that kiss that you guys are having, that it's nice and long, and you can really settle into that intimate moment with your partner. It's not just a quick little peck if you need to time it out for a while <laughs> set the timer on your phone but making sure we have a really good long intimate kiss with one another yes I love that tip and you know research has shown six seconds you know <laughs> six second kiss it's the way to go you know and so very important to prioritize that and sometimes these things long-term relationships take more careful intention you know in the beginning it's very easy but once you have children, once their fears about in-laws, once their stresses about chronic illness, these stressors 
we have to really schedule these things in. So, <laughs> and the last tip is to laugh together. Watch a funny show, put on, you know, a comedy show, listen to a comedy podcast, maybe some Robin Williams or whoever you like, um, and really start laughing. Even if you're fake laughing, your body releases these chemicals in your brain that make you feel happier and more satisfied. And um, also when you see your spouse laugh, that builds mirror neurons and that sense of connection. So, you know, do something fun together. Bring back that laughter. Bring back the playfulness, tension less, right? When we're playing, when we're laughing, there's less tension in the air, less tension between us, and we can mutually enjoy together. It's a mutual positive experience, which is going to be so helpful and bringing you and your partner back together. Yes. And no matter what struggle you're facing, we would love to help you. We love helping distant, struggling couples, build healthy communication, a sense of emotional intimacy, sense of playfulness where you can actually have an experience right in session using art, drama therapy, yoga, outdoor walking sessions in nature in a non-traditional holistic way, kind of alternatives to talking are available um, to really express what's on the inside because we find that just sitting and talking sometimes isn't enough for couples. They sometimes will need more, you know, a tool to take home to build that toolbox. So we would love to help you at Wisdom Within Counseling, build meaningful connection in your marriage and set you up for a loving, nurturing marriage long term. Um, so you can book a free phone consult at wisdomwithinct.com. That's wisdomwithinct.com. We look forward to helping your marriage thrive.